Good morning, soft shakers and friends. Encouraging word, Saturday heart to heart with Pastor Albertan prepares us for Sunday. Tomorrow is the Lord's day, a day of rest, a day of recreation, a day of worship. A blessed morning and a wonderful and joyful day in the presence of the Lord. Today is Saturday heart to heart with Pastor Albert. The song you just listened to express the heart of what is the age-long battle going on in this world. It's a question of who is worthy to be worshipped. The Bible tells us that Lucifer, the fallen angel who was in charge of worship in heaven, wanted to be like God. In Isaiah 14 verse 12, Oh how you are fallen from heaven, O Lucifer! Son of the morning, how you are cut down to the ground, you who weakened the nations. For you have said in your heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will also sit on the mount of the congregation on the farthest sides of the north, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds, and I will be like the Most High. And consider also, this battle that was going on, because when Jesus came in the flesh, when he started his ministry, he was likewise tempted. In Luke chapter 6, verse 5 to 8, one of the testing he went through was this. Then the devil, taking him up on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, all this authority I will give you and your glory, for it has been delivered to me, and I give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you will worship me before all, all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. And during the days of the tribulation, this issue becomes crystallized as we read in Revelation 13 verses 15 to 17. And he was granted power to give breath to the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads that no one may buy or sell except the one who has the name or the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name many people today are very worried that they may unwittingly take the mark of the beast and uh, be uh, a judge in the tribulation but the issue of the mark of the beast is the issue of worship. And this issue started long ago when Satan wanted to be worshipped and to exalt himself above the Most High. And it continues down the ages and it comes into a crisis, a climax at the, at, uh, in, during the tribulation. You see, the actual mark of the beast will only happen during the tribulation. But the issue of who you will worship began long ago. Satan will do anything to prevent you worshipping the true and living God today. If we cannot win this battle now, how can we win this battle during the tribulation? So let us learn to worship God and God alone. Tomorrow when we come to meet the Lord in corporate worship, bend not only your knees but your heart. To worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. May God cause us to be true worshippers. Though I am, I long to see your beauty. Just one glance can change my home. Just the
behold. <laughs> yes, we become what we behold. We want to hold you. We want to see you. Oh, oh. Yeah. Come and behold him. Is any fascinating? Majesty, come and behold him. Is any captivated? And we'll keep on singing, yeah, for all of eternity. Come and May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and evermore. Amen.